Hey, what's up guys? This is Elo Speaks back again with another video. In this video topic, I want to be talking about John Stockton and his recent comments on LeBron James on a certain podcast. So the other day, I think, well, I would say the other day, a couple of weeks ago, John Stockton was on a podcast and they were asking him a array of questions. And one of the questions was about LeBron James. And he had some interesting comments that he made about LeBron James as regards to it. So... John Stockton was on the podcast and um, LeBron James. I don't know the particular context of what LeBron James came up, but he did made a comment about LeBron James and how he doesn't really approve of him uh, forming up super teams, switching to different teams and stacking the deck to give him a advantage. So let me give my thoughts on that. So, yeah, while I do agree about that, as regards to that, I don't agree with LeBron James or Kevin Durant or any other player for that matter. Taking it to their own hands, stacking the deck to where it is damn near an unfair advantage to where you have one of the most stacked teams in the league. I don't respect it. Now, granted, I'm not saying that a player shouldn't do what's best for him. They should. But when they destroy the power balance of the league to the point where nobody could compete with them, that's where it becomes a problem. For example, LeBron James going to Miami to form a big three with the Miami Heat. That was a big problem because essentially he left Cleveland, leaving them destitute and horrible for years on end. And then Chris Bosh leaving the Toronto Raptors and going to Miami to form a big three with LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. That left the Raptors destitute for years to come. And that's two teams that's going to be non-competitive for a couple of years while Miami Heat becomes a big, giant powerhouse team for however long they're, they were ever going to sustain that super team. Then... You go to you go back to Cleveland. He goes back to Cleveland after they racked up on a um, Mary of number one picks. They drafted Kyrie Irving, and then they end up using those dra- the first round draft pick and trade for Kevin Love, forming a whole new super team and then contending for NBA titles. And he probably would have won multiple NBA titles if he didn't get blindsided by Golden State Warrior coming out of nowhere and then. What made matters even worse was having Dur- uh, Cameron Durant come to the team to make the team damn near impossible to beat. But I digress. And then on top of that, he goes to the Los Angeles Lakers. He trades all the young pieces there, um, the young talent, such as Lonzo and others. And then he gets Anthony Davis. And then he was trying to get Kawhi Leonard to come to the team to make the team damn near impossible to beat. And then that didn't work. So then he ended up, you know, still winning a Fugazi championship. But then after that, they ended up getting Westbrook. And then it didn't go as they thought. And now it's just him and AD. But still, nonetheless, a one-two punch team that's still talented enough to make playoffs and contend for a possible title. So that's the, I guess that's the quick and easy way to put it, put it in terms of LeBron James stacking teams, trying to get the best player. Right now, he's trying to see if he could get Kyrie Irving to come back to the team. And it's just a whole bunch of foolishness when it comes to LeBron James and stacking teams. And then people, sports fans in the media, uh, sports uh, pundits in the media try to dress it up, call it player uh prayer movement blah blah but it's basically stuck in the deck in your favor LeBron James do it Kevin Durant does it it's just not good for the league long term because it just ruins the competitive balance of the team overall and it just leaves a nasty taste in a lot of NBA fans where their team has no shot at winning a title and it's just you're watching the same few teams that's going to win a title for years to come. And it's like, what's the point? What's he, what even the point of having 30 teams in the NBA if only one, of them, one or two of them is going to win the title every other year? My next uh, bullet point I want to get into as regards to the comments, as regards to John Stockton, is 
Of course, the toxic LeBron James fanboys will be in full force and attack John Stockton for his comments. Whenever it comes to LeBron James in the media, you have to talk glowingly and nice about him. Otherwise, his fanboys are, will attack you via social media, via however they can reach you. They will let you uh, hear about them because you critique their king. Which is unfortunate. You can't have a true opinion about LeBron James, whether you agree or disagree with some of the things that he do or his style of play without being seen or called a hater by his fanboys and by, me, by sports media's pundits, such as Shannon Sharp, Nick Wright, Colin Cowher, Nick, Nick Minimum, um, so far and so forth. There's a whole bunch of fanboys in the media. It's, it's too much to even tell at this, at this time. And his fans are one of the most toxic fan base I've ever seen in sports history. They're ad nauseum worship of LeBron James. I never seen so much narcissism from a player to where his fans stroke his ego so much and everything that he says gospel and they believe it with no like thought at all, which is just nauseating. But I digress. Again, these are John Stockton opinions, which I agree with. And if he says something that I disagree with, then I'll say that as well. Again, I'm not I would say I'm, a, I'm not a fan of LeBron James, but I'm not, I don't hate the guy. I just I feel like his fans are toxic, so it makes it difficult to like him as a player. And he is the center point of the toxicity of everything, and he's controlling the strings behind the scenes, and he's trying to act like he's not, which makes people don't like him even more. So that's why a lot of people are starting to turn away and get disgusted at LeBron James because his narcissism is being shown in full view and people don't like it because he always has to be the center of attention and make him by himself. And he always has to control the narrative and control the media to put himself in the good light. Even when he fails, even when he fails, there has to be an excuse. There has to be a scapegoat. There has to be a player to get blamed for why LeBron James lost. It's never because LeBron James just wasn't good enough to win the big one or he wasn't clutch or so forth. It's always someone else's fault is is something. It's always something. It's never LeBron James' fault. And that's what turns people off to LeBron James overall. So even when you have a opinion about LeBron James that's that could be seen as negative towards him or critique is not a valid critique in the minds of LeBron James fanboys is always hate. Why are you always hating LeBron James? Why are you critiquing LeBron James? LeBron James fart is smell like roses. If LeBron James touch water, it turns into wine. Everything LeBron James is good. Nothing he does is bad. There's no criticism and everything he if he if he messed up or failed, there's a reason why he messed up his foot. It's because it rained that day. It's because somebody didn't make the shot or somebody didn't get that rebound or somebody didn't play to the level. And even though this guy stacks teams to have one of the best talents in the league, is always somebody else's fault. He's part, he's always want to be a low-key GM. And then when the team starts doing bad, he wants to act like he's just a player, which is a lie. I'm pretty sure Jeannie Buss and Rob Palenka always run by trades or player acquisitions by him to give to see if they could get the green light from him. So for him to try to act like he's just a player is just false. Just false. But again, those are John Stockton's opinion. I know people are going to say, oh, he's old. He's an old head, or he's just jealous of LeBron James. He has no ring. He doesn't have the near accomplishment as LeBron James to be making such critique. So it's whatever. Well, it's funny because Michael Jordan never made a critique about LeBron James, but LeBron James fanboys and other people in the media constantly critique Michael Jordan ad nauseum just because they're trying to pit him against LeBron James. But that's a conversation for a whole other day. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think John Stockton comments was right? Do you think it was wrong? Tell me what you think. This Edo Speaks out.